What's up guys, Tom from the Airsoft Headquarters here. Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my packing setup, my packing list for Nielsen events. So I'm gonna be going to Third Coast Airsoft's Iron Fury in South Carolina. That's gonna be this week. We leave tomorrow, which is Thursday the 16th. And then we're gonna be there Friday night for the tier one event. And then we'll be there Saturday, Sunday for the main event. And we'll be back uh, by Monday. Yeah, that's the schedule. A lot of players, when they're packing for their first large mill sim or any sort of larger event, kind of get overwhelmed as far as what to pack, what to prepare, what to prepare for, and kind of don't know what to do. So hopefully this is gonna give some people some sort of idea as to what to expect, maybe what to pack for themselves as well. So anyway, what I use is I use my own laminated packing slip. And I use laminated because I can take some of the dry erase markers and I can go through and I can individually mark whether, uh, especially here, if they're staged or if they're actually individually packed, which for the amount of stuff that I have to do for work, as well as try to manage all the stuff that I'm individually packing in preparation for the event, for pictures, for videos, for other people, it gets really confusing. So just to make it all easy for myself, I've got my own individual listing here. So you can either copy this list itself or you can uh, make your own list. Um, but anyway, let's, let's do that. So this is my individual list. If you're confused why it says town in the right hand corner, it's because on the other side is the exact same that I'm actually sharing with my roommate as well. So I personally have this double-sided. You don't need this double-sided. So for loadout, like your helmet, your eye protection, your face covering, plate carrier, dump pouch, holster, gloves, and different patches, different stuff like that, uh, which I all have there. Uh, different clothing. That is not actually checked in the stage because I still need to go through, since I have some stuff in the washer and dryer yet at home, so that's not checked off and it's not getting staged, it's not getting packed, it's not getting checked off. For the different systems, we got primary, secondary backup, uh, different BBs, make sure I've got magazines, the different propell uh, propellants, if I am using those, make sure I've got uh, the spare batteries for either my rifle, for optics, for, uh, for lights, for cameras, for radios, um, which that's up here. The radio, the push to talk, spare battery, charger, miscellaneous gear, which um, I personally don't use a whole lot since was, this was all uh, just printed off. Another thing to figure out is how you're going to carry all of your gear. For myself, I have a older Condor uh, gear rig or uh, gear bag that I'm going to try to throw everything that I can into. Now I've got everything sprawled out, so it's gonna look like I have more than I actually have but I need to get it all condensed into a smaller bag because I'm carrying my gear bag, my gun bag, my camera uh, bag, my computer bag, and then my clothing bag. So I personally will have five different bags that I will need to keep track of. So getting everything condensed in a smaller setup because I'm riding in a caravan, caravan with uh, the rest of my team or the rest of my squad, I need to make sure I can conserve space for them as well. So trying to get everything in here to fit as well as possible is what I will need to do. So let's see if I can make it work or if I'm gonna struggle. So the biggest thing that I found when coming to packing is to always pre-pack your gear as well. So since I have all of my extra magazines, what I can do is I can preemptively load them into my gear and be conservative that way. That way I don't have loose magazines falling and spilling around all over my bag and create a bigger mess than I really want. So I'm gonna start by condensing a lot of the stuff that I have here, especially the charger can go into my bag of batteries, make sure that when I need to actually pull my charger out from my batteries that I have both ready to go in one spot, which is gonna make things easier in the long run. The way that I'm running my plate carrier is gonna be fairly minimalist as far as the front setup. So I've got my three mags. I'll have the pouch for a couple of grenades. 
connect the push to talk while the radio is off so I'm not draining batteries. And put that there. And then I can even open up and put my plate here together somewhat in a smooth enough fashion. And that's gonna be what my front looks like. Now on the left hand side here, I'm going to put my smoke grenades. So then on my little sheet of paper, I can actually check off smokes because the total of my smokes was packed away in my plate carrier. Because right there, my plate carrier by itself takes up half the space. Now I've loaded it with a bunch of stuff, but it is it does take up a lot of space as of right now. Ooh, need to make sure that my earpiece for my push to talk is included, since we're gonna try to be super sneaky stealth boys. I like the uh, the push to talk code red. I know I could get a um, a Comtac type of setup, but I find those to be super annoying and they get in the way when I go to aim down sights. Uh, so a code red push to talk that is on the front of my plate carrier that has a listen earpiece, I find to be the best for me. We have my helmet, which is a PTS uh, M-Tech Flux. And I have our camo pattern, the uh, Marpat or Woodland Digital, whatever you want to call it. And I have a GoPro that I'm going to be running instead of the uh, Psyonix night vision because we're not playing at night, we're playing during the day. So making sure I capture some gameplay action. I've got a deadlight, another deadlight, and I have my spare batteries back here for the GoPro. And I'm going to have tons of SD cards. So what I like to do is I will put my goggles, which I have the iForces. I'm using the Slims primarily, but I have my backup, which has seen a lot more gameplay than my Slims. And these are going to be my backup pair. So primarily using the Slims, the iForces or the regulars iForces as the backups. And then I'll put my mask over the goggles to make sure that they stay inside the helmet. And then the helmet gets packed away usually upside down so that the um, goggles cannot possibly fall up, out. The iForces themselves are going to be a dual pane setup. So I want to make sure that they stay in a position to where they don't possibly get banged around or bent or even scratched, um, just because that could rupture the dual pane uh, setup that the goggles have and could promote fogging. So making sure that they're safe and secluded. I know some players will put their goggles inside of a padded safe uh, case, which is super, super nice. However, I'm trying to be conservative, so I'm not trying to put all of the things in packs. I have two slings, and you'll notice that I'm packing two of everything, such as two gloves. The adage, it is old, but it is fairly universal and that is two is one, one is none. And in some cases, I'm eyeing more for three is two, two is one, one is none, because I could be going through a lot of things. For my pistol, I'm using an Elite Force Glock 19 Green Gas with a TLR Streamlight. Um, this is going to be in a MC Kydex drop leg holster, like so. And then I'm going to have a spare magazine loosely on my person if I need it. And since it's powered by green gas, I'm taking one canister of green gas because I should not ever have more than one fill of green gas for the magazines. Silicone oil, this is going to get packed away inside of my case of camera equipment because this is loose and it could possibly spill and spurt silicone oil, which I don't want. 
all of my extra camera accessories because I would be taking pictures and doing videos and stuff like that. The camera accessories are going to go on the outside of the pack. That way if I need them immediately, I have access to them. This is going into my camera case, which is what this camera is going into. After that, we've got all of the loose grenades that are going to fill in some of the pockets. Just because I'm not gonna carry all of these on me so they don't need to be out and about willy-nilly. A thing for water. A small bottle of three twos, just because that's what weighing is going to be. And just in case the staff does not have three twos, I will have a very small bottle available. So here I've got protein snacks, water mix, that are good for taking breaks. Some more water mix. These are individual packets that can get sprinkled around. Those are gonna go inside there. A big bottle of ibuprofen because things can get hurt and people can get boo-boos. Spare battery packs are gonna go inside of there. Um, if you're anyone like me, I get some chapped lips from being dehydrated. So this can get tossed. Everyone's wearing a mask now, so always make sure to pack a mask. That's going to be right away at the top of the gear bag, and I've got a mask inside of my camera bag as well as in my computer bag. So I will have masks readily available wherever I need them. And then here is my GoPro. I'm running the GoPro Silver 7. Um, Last field that I went to, uh, just to uh, last weekend, just to make sure everything ran smoothly for all of my gear, give it a test run. Um, the lens itself got shot out, so I'm really hoping that nothing gets shot out on the camera lens itself because nothing's really protecting it. Uh, if anything does get shot out, I've got a spare GoPro, which is not my nicest one, but is still a GoPro. It's still an action camera, so I will be able to get content if I need to. This is my Prairie Berry. This is going to be my VFC Mark 18 receiver that has the Polar Star jack installed inside of there. I have a visible light as well as a green visible light. This one's going to be used for individual identification or personnel identification. And then this one's going to be purely for, purely for target acquisition. Both are going to be a dial um, takeoff or uh, put onto the rail systems just for easy access. I'm running the Ace Tech Lighter R Tracer unit for indoor stuff. My action camera is going to slide on side up here. Just basic foregrip, uh, basic T1 replica. And then PTS stock that has the HPA battery or the Polar Star jack. Super basic. I need something super lightweight that's going to be able to trek through all the woods as well as go indoors and be super tight in CQB. My backup if something were to happen to this, is going to be my KW Way RM4 that has the Daniel Defense Block 2 rail system, that has the uh, aim point. I think this one is going to be a 2 to 4. Yeah, so this is my 2 to 4 zoom optic. And that's going to be for longer distances. I've got the PTS magazines that are compatible between both of them. So if something were to happen, this one's going to be HPA. This one is just straight battery power. That's why I have those life of batteries. And then also make sure to pack an unjamming rod just to help either clean something out or uh, clean or clear the inner barrel out. So there I have my gun bag. With my gear bag. Nope, just realized my barrel sock probably should go inside of there. And the next thing is going to be the camera case, which obviously I'm missing the camera because you guys are looking through it. But I have my different lenses, different lights. Oop, that one turned on by accident. Different charging cables, more charger packs. 
uh, little light shields. Mask inside of there, like I said, and then everything gets closed like so. So I was not super diligent about going through my checklist and making sure everything was packed, but I can do that off camera fairly easily since it was just a couple minutes before or since I packed everything. But just so you guys know, that's how I tend to pack everything. Light, or not light, but compact at least. Make sure everything gets tight. Doesn't have to look good, but as long as everything fits inside of there and it's everything that I need, then we're golden, essentially. So I just have a couple things of work to finish up here at the store, and then I'm gonna be back home, tucking in nice and tight, getting a full night's sleep, and then off to Iron Fury in the morning. Hopefully you guys see some gameplay footage, and hopefully I'll be taking a lot of videos and pictures, and then I'll see you guys when I come back next. You guys take care, stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.